everyone and welcome to Vlogmas episode 3, a Cambridge series. I thought I would stick to doing a few more voiceovers because my first Vlogmas where I did the entire video a voiceover, I had loads of comments saying yeah this is you know a great video and we, we enjoy the fact that there's no music so I'm going to stick to that today and just do a really long voiceover about you know what I'm going up to. So I guess first what I'm doing here is I started work really early, I think about quarter to seven this morning and I think it was the 10th of December when I filmed this. So I'm basically just doing cue cards here. Um, I've used an app called Flora which you can see here and this is just telling me I have a five minute break and the way that Flora works is essentially you can plant trees on it and I usually do about 25 minutes and a five minute break and then after I've done a few 25 minute sessions I'll then build it up to 50 minutes and depending on how well my concentration is going throughout the day I'll alternate it so if I'm feeling like my brain is able to handle 50 minutes of re pure revision and then a 10 minute break I'll do 50 minutes but if you know I'm struggling a little bit about halfway then I'll just switch it up to 25 minutes but the really cool thing is that you get to plant trees which <laughs> which I quite like you get to plant these cute little trees and it's kind of rewarding when you see the work that you do uh, here I'm showing you the view from my room so this was when the sun started to rise um, I'm at Sydney Sussex College and the view from my room is so incredible it's literally I feel like I'm in Hogwarts it's, it's absolutely insane which you'll see when I open my curtain so this is the view that I see from my room and it is just so surreal I remember moving in and being like oh my gosh I I feel like I'm in Harry Potter it's yeah the architecture at Sydney Sussex is phenomenal and for those of you that don't know how the college system works some of the colleges are old and some of them are new and my college is old hence the old architecture and the old buildings so I decided to do a bit more revision today for my exams that aren't until June so something that's different this year all of my previous years at university I've had January exams but I don't have any this year which is slightly strange for me I'm having to adopt the way that I spend my Christmas um, so it's mixed between doing example sheets and just going over the material and, and making cue cards really so my plan for these first two weeks of the Christmas holidays was to just go over the material write some cue cards up that I can then later test myself on and yeah just get a good solid chunk of revision done. I then decided to take a break while my timer was on, uh, do a bit of folding up of my clothes and getting a bit tidied up in my room just so that I had a bit of a clearer headspace and once I'd done that I then got back to work. I had some more vitamins so something I'd, I'd recently had a blood test and my iron levels were a little bit low so I'm trying to get back in you know back on top of my iron and taking iron tablets iron supplements because vitamins are so important when you're studying for you know brain power and everything else so here I planted a new tree I did a 50 minute timer and started to do a bit more work so you'll see that I have it's very small breaks uh, and I do big chunks of revision and the breaks are so important. I found them so important with my seizures as well just to manage my stress levels and just make sure that I don't burn myself out too much. So anytime you see me on my tablet or my iPad I am basically doing cue cards and that's just to later test myself on them when it comes to revising. So that took me up to about lunchtime and I then decided to go for a walk with one of my close friends at Sydney Sussex he's also a postgraduate student and his name is Jason and I know he watches my YouTube videos so shout out to Jason for looking after me <laughs> uh, this Christmas break so that was the view from my room at lunchtime the sky was clear so something that I've been trying to do whilst studying and revising and just during Christmas break is to try and get out for walks when I can so obviously that's a bit temperamental with my seizures you know if I've had a seizure then obviously I can't walk too far so I'm vlogging on days that are when I'm feeling good and, and up to walking. Here is Jason I met him for the walk and then decided to show you another view of Sydney Sussex. So this here is Chapel Court and that is where the chapel is and it looks very much like winter with all the ivy all the leaves falling off and this here is Hall Court and that's where we have our formals and have our tea and dinner and and such so we first stopped by Pret to get a coffee because we are students and taking advantage of the fact that Pret are offering a free month subscription to their coffees <laughs> so we've been we've been getting free coffee so that was our first trip and then we decided to go past Sydney Sussex so you'll be able to see Sydney Sussex here this is our college it's on the main street really it's yeah you can see it from the main street and it's just so pretty, it looks like a castle. I love it so much. So we decided to venture past Sydney Sussex and go for a new walk today, which was by 
Magdalen College. So this is Magdalen College here and it's just over the bridge and it's such a stunning college. It's so, so pretty. And when you'll see in a second the grounds that they have, it's, it's honestly stunning. So this walk is always nice to just go by the river, see the ducks, see the seagulls that we apparently have in Cambridge, even though we're nowhere near um, the sea. But yeah, it's, it's always a nice just walk. It's something that I've realised is so important whilst being at Cambridge is to get yourself out and in fresh air and just have have a break you know it's so you don't realize how empowering and how much good it does you so yeah I've been trying to get out for walks when I can and when my seizures let me so this was walking by Jesus Green that is a really really big green that a lot of people I think there's tennis courts and it's also where a lot of the postgraduates live in houses near near Jesus Green and it's just by the river and yeah this is my favorite part of, of Jesus Green are these trees and the walkway it's very spooky and yeah very cool we then decided to go for a little bit of a walk around and stop for a bite to eat so we walked past Jesus College hence the name you know Jesus Green which is next to Jesus College and walked a little bit further and ended up in a shopping center and got some food so I got katsu curry which was delicious i really enjoyed it and then i got back and opened my advent calendar so it was the 10th of december today i appreciate this video will probably be uploaded much later than that because i am slow at editing videos <laughs> and cambridge and work is uh yeah my main priority so i got back i think i was out for about an hour walking and eating and i got back and decided to crack on and do some more cue cards the main idea behind cue cards is that I get to go through the lecture notes and then test myself. So I won't write a cue card unless I absolutely understand what is going on in the lecture notes. And it's just a way for me to go through the lecture notes, understand which parts I know and which parts I don't know. And I've had a lot of questions on my recent videos about what apps I use to do cue cards. How do you do cue cards with with maths? You know, you, you can't write maths. It's very difficult. And also, what do I write on my cue cards? So I'm planning on releasing a big video explaining how I do all of that. But in summary, I use GoodNotes and it has a testing flashcard system on there. So I use GoodNotes to write the maths and then test myself using the feature that's on good notes i then had a really exciting email from the uk space agency and the royal society of chemistry asking me to do some more filming for them so for those of you that don't know i was involved in a mars film last year and i filmed and presented um, a mars film which you can find on youtube actually under the uk space agency and i worked with the uk space agency and also did some filming with the royal society of chemistry i presented the live landing of nasa's perseverance rover on uh, the royal society of chemistry's tiktok account and that was live streaming NASA. And honestly, it was so, so cool. So to have the opportunity to work with them again is yeah phenomenal. And I'm looking forward to spending a bit more time working with them after Cambridge as well. So here is the view. The sun is setting too early, in my opinion. It's getting too dark too early. Um, and the moon was out as well, which was beautiful. This is me attempting to zoom in on my camera that doesn't really film the moon very well so excuse how blurry it is but I just thought it was so pretty I'm getting into looking at the stars and things at night it's just yeah so beautiful I then decided to go back and do some more revision so today is a very intense day I appreciate that you can see that I've done lots and lots of work today and that's just because you know today I was feeling really productive I'd like to mention that not every day that I do you know I'm not productive every single day I try to be as productive as I can but there are days where you do feel less productive than others and that's just the part of studying I realize that study tube can get quite toxic and you know you you watch YouTube videos and you think oh my gosh I must be doing all this you know I'm, this is how I must be revising but you've just got to remember that every day is a different day and that's why I try and film as much as I can to show you how different every day is. So I then decided to do a bit more work on my bed because my back started hurting from doing uh, too much work. So I did a bit more work in bed and then I got the login details for the Royal Society of Chemistry ready to do some filming on their TikTok again which was very very exciting and then I decided to go out and grab some tea. So here is Sydney's Christmas tree even though it's a, technically a Christmas bike that some colleges have Christmas trees, we have a light up bike. The sun was out, the sun wasn't out, the moon was out, and college looks so cool on a night. It just, all the kind of windows that are lit up and everything, yeah, it's just so pretty. We have some fairy lights in the back gardens, and that's where Jason and I have been eating our tea and lunch, just because of COVID, we're slightly worried, you know, we're not from the same household. 
so we've been hesitant, you know, before we go home. So there's Jason again. We've basically just been eating our tea and lunch outdoors. And yeah, it was a very clear night and got to do a lot of stargazing. I then went back and did a bit more work for a, for a couple more hours before deciding to get changed. So here is my miraculous transition. I then decided to head to bed, ready for an early start tomorrow. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all in Vlogmas number four.